So you might be in a situation where for some reason you want to go ahead and update your billing information on your iPhone. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So the first thing you have to understand is that to update your billing information, you have to own the iPhone. If you don't own the iPhone and have the information behind it, you won't be able to update it. So keep that in mind if you're somebody who's like trying to, you know, get information from an iPhone or change an existing iPhone and you're not the original holder, you don't have the info, there's not much you can do. So make your way over to your iPhone settings just like this and you want to go and tap into your main panel at the very top. So tap into your main icon wherever it says you know your name and all this other information. Tap on it there and then this next panel is going to come up. Now what you're going to want to do here is right here where it says payment and shipping, you want to go and click on this payment and shipping panel. Now it really depends on how your iPhone is set up but your iPhone will probably end up prompting you for the password, which is why I kind of said before that you will need to be the original holder because you will actually need the information and the password in order to actually go through with this iPhone. So type in your particular information and your password. Now when you do that, you will come into this next panel, which will basically allow you to change your pre-existing information. So what you can do now is if you already have a credit card, if you have your CVV or whatever you have, what you can basically do is you can go and change your number, your you know, whatever you have, your you know, credit card information, you can change everything from your particular phone right here, which is basically all you have to do. So this is where you can change it and you can change your address at the very bottom. Now the other thing you can do is change your Apple Pay information. So you can just go through into your you know, Apple Wallet app and you can just basically go through and just change your information that way too. That's another option you have if you wanna use Apple Pay rather than your actual like payment from your iPhone, you have that method too. So that's basically how you can update your billing information on your iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.